The average atomic mass is the average mass of a type of atom. So it is the average mass of carbon, or the average mass of potassium, or the average mass of helium. It's the average mass of a type of an atom, and it is calculated based on the natural abundance or the percentages of that atom's isotopes. All of the different isotopes of an atom are present in the world in very specific percentages. So for example, let's use carbon as an example. We know that 98.9% of all the carbon exists as the carbon-12 isotope. And 1.1% of the carbon exists as carbon-13 isotope. And these are fixed percentages. So the average mass of a carbon atom is calculated based on these relative abundances of these two isotopes. In order for us to calculate the average mass of any given type of atom, well, we're going to calculate that average the same way we would calculate any average. We are, let's continue using carbon as the example, we will simply take the percentage of the isotope and multiply it by its mass. Now, when we're using, when we're calculating the average atomic mass and we're, we're needing to multiply the percentages of the isotopes by their masses, we are going to use something called atomic mass. This is, as the name sounds, this is the mass of an atom, an individual atom, and the units that we are going to use are called AMU. AMU stands for Atomic Mass Unit. And it's a mass unit, just like gram or pound or kilogram or ounce. So the AMU is just another unit of mass. And it's one that we don't use very often, so you're probably not familiar with it but it is just simply a mass unit. The atomic mass unit is defined as 1 12th of the mass of carbon 12. It's kind of a goofy definition, um, but basically the chemist said, we're gonna take carbon 12 and we're gonna use carbon 12 as like the benchmark for defining what an atomic mass unit is. And all of the other isotopes and all of the other atoms their masses will be based off of this mass of carbon-12. So with all of these calculations that we've done, we know that just by definition, carbon-12 has an atomic mass of 12 AMUs. And with some extrapolation and some other calculations, we also know that carbon-13 has an atomic mass of 13.00335 AMU. So for the purposes of this video and these examples, I'm just telling you what the atomic masses are for these individual isotopes. There is a way for you to calculate these numbers yourself, but right now that's something that we don't need to know how to do. If you have been given the abundance and the atomic mass of all of the isotopes of an atom, you should be able to use these numbers to calculate the average atomic mass. So let's do that right now. The average atomic mass, to calculate this, we are going to multiply the percentage of each isotope in decimal form. So 98.9%, which is equivalent to 0.989. I don't know why I put that zero on there. 0.989. And then we're going to multiply that by the mass of that isotope in AMU. And we are going to add up this same calculation, this same calculation for all of our isotopes. So for carbon-13, 
our abundance is 1.1%, which is the same as 0 0.011, and we'll multiply it by its mass, which is 13.00335 AMU. And we're simply going to add these up together. Let's get our calculator out for this. We have 0.989 times 12, and we're going to add that to 0.011 times 13.00335. And that gives us an average mass, I'm just gonna round it, 12.011. 12 and the mass of that, or the units of that are AMU. So this is the average atomic mass of carbon. Now this number is the other number that is shown on the periodic table. By other number, I meant in my previous video, I talked about how the atomic number is shown on the periodic table. This is the other number that's shown on the periodic table. So let's go to carbon. For any atom on the periodic table, we typically have two pieces of information the atomic number, which we've already talked about in previous video, and now we know this number right here, the average atomic mass. The average mass of any given carbon atom in the universe.